Hey everybody, this is Derek from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to get newer software in Debian Stable. So I am on Debian 9.3, and I'm going to go over how to get the latest software, maybe not the absolute latest software, but newer software than what you're used to in Debian Stable, because as you know, Debian Stable is very slow with packages. So to, f so to start off, get open a terminal, nano, see apt sources.list. Now by default you can see I only have the open source options and I only have from directly from Debian. I don't so what this means is I'm not going to get the latest version of Firefox. I'm only going to get ESR. I'm only going to get I'm only going to get certain versions of Mate instead of the absolute latest. And that's just because Debian needs to be stable. It needs to be solid and stable so that nothing crashes because this can be used in a work environment. So to add software sources, you'd be adding backports. Now Debian backports is a project that takes newer software and ports it backwards to older versions of Debian. So to start off, add a comment and you would do stable backports or whatever you'd like to add as a comment. Press the enter key and then just add the backports source and then just add the backboard source so you do you doing deb and then just add the url so it would be http and of course guys i'm listing all this stuff out so you can understand what i'm saying and what i'm doing so it's not just a two minute thing but everything is in the description in the article you can go through and you can find all the commands and everything that i'm going through right now but for the sake of time i'm just doing it this way And that's just the Debian URL that we would use. It's similar to what we see up here, 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 and so forth. So once that's added, we need to add the code name. And because I'm using Debian stretch, which is the latest stable release, I'm going to need to do stretch and then backports. Then I would type in main. Now, this could be good enough if I'm just interested in using open source tools and I have no interest in NVIDIA drivers or Steam or, or whatnot. I'm good with that. But if I want to get the latest non-free software, first of all, I would not put non-free in any of these because then that will conflict with the backports. So let's let the backports have this have the safest backports. So let's just have backports have the majority of the control over non-free software. So I would do non-free, and if I want access to the contributor packages, I would also do contrib. Once that's done, I just click Control O to save, and then I exit, and then I have, like if we if we look at the sources list, we can see our stable backports is there. Now all that's left to do is to run the package manager and update it. So I would do update. And that will go through and it'll find, okay, here are the backports and it's getting all of the stuff. So that's going to be it for me today, guys, but I will see you next video.